you have fond Halloween memories growing up? I do. I do. Evil Knievel, C-3PO, so many different costumes that I went with as a youngster. Today, uh, I do dress up. I think it's important. It's it's very important to stay in the spirit of things. So uh, today, I have decided that my costume will be Daniel Snyder. <laughs> Watch out. You're going to get egged all day. (laughs) (laughs) And here's the amazing part, DA. I don't change a thing. I just walk outside. Now, have you ever met Dan Snyder, and then he looked at you, and you looked at him, and he looked at you, and it was like the Spider-Man meme? Well, one thing I I will tell you, many years ago, I'm doing a game for CBS, and the, the broadcast location is right next to the owner's box at FedEx Field. Yeah. And the Redskins were losing the game to Cincinnati. And in the third quarter, a particularly upset Redskin fan looked up to the broadcast booth and started pointing at me and <laughs> saying, you got to go. You got to sell the team and go. And I made eye contact. Although normally I would avoid eye contact in those situations, I made eye contact and I motioned to the right of me with my thumb you're pointing at the wrong guy. And he looks, he goes, oh, I'm so sorry. And he turns and he goes, you got to go. It's over. So, yes, there have been some incidents. So this guy thought that Dan Snyder was calling the game with Dan Fouts. Yes, he thought he was calling the game on CBS. And then I, I instructed him that he just had to shift his vision just a tad to the owner's booth to, to find the actual owner, yes.